Hey folks, welcome back to another video. It's been about, oh, it must be about four or five months now. Can't be, last week. <laughs> it feels like last week. Since Ronnie and I got together, had a little bit of a catch up talking about what had happened last year and what was coming this year. I'm sure you've seen we've been pretty busy this year so far. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to quickly catch up on some of the stuff that's gone sort of in the past and some amazing stuff that's coming up in the future. So I'll hand over to you, Ronnie, yeah, first. Well, I, mean, I think that's got to be the busiest two weeks <laughs> since January that, that we've had. I mean, it, it kind of exploded out in Jan with Walking Dead. Yes. Walking Dead was back. Yes. So, yeah, that was dead. Yeah, yeah. so the, de the dead came back. Yeah. Then Warpath. Then Warpath, yeah. Then that little quiet thing called Halo. Yeah, nobody really heard about that. No, so that's no one there. We'll, not, we'll tell not, you about that later. Correct. Not the biggest video I've ever done. Demoing that at Adepticom, demoing that at Salute. Went down yeah. to both those shows. I got my car stolen. So yeah. uh, that's so, why I've not posted for about a month. I've been trying <laughs> to sort that out. Um, yeah, and that's that was just in the first three months. Yeah. Yeah, it was that it. was you know that's before DSO. That was it, yeah. So yeah. um yeah, so absolutely I mean I think our feet didn't hit hit the hit the ground, but yeah. I mean I just crazy busy. Um the great thing is, you know, we're of a size now where things keep rumbling on and before you know it. So on the back of that DSO. Yes. Which is just shipping, I think, yesterday, today, this week, last this, month. Certainly this week, yeah. yeah. So and what's wonderful about that is we this is aimed at family gaming yeah both price wise the coolness of the models the robustness of the build and i think one of the unsung heroes of dungeon saga origins has been the app that elliot built yeah you know you really can play together yeah all four of you uh it's a joy if you've not gone and looked at it just go and have a look we'll yeah. we'll pop the site up there or whatever yeah. else we're going to do with that link but please it is just gorgeous and it's challenging without being, you know, headache hard. Yes. It keeps the memory of what you've done. So if it's a month between a game, it doesn't matter. You yeah. pick the rules up very quickly. There's one dice mechanic, that's all you need. And this utter joy of gaming with your family and friends in a light way and yeah. sharing a little taste of a hobby. Um, uh, yeah, so it's been really popular. Glimmer of Greed is coming out with it. Yeah, um, that's also on the app now. So that's all it. those backers, thank you, backers, have got two of the adventures. The next one's coming in about eight weeks, and then the final one will be coming out eight weeks after that. So we just keep rolling them out. Um, but DSO, very, very popular, really exciting, really kind of a something about some of the space we want to be in. Yeah, which is uh, you know sharing your hobby and and yeah, yeah, that's it. So yeah, DSO, that was obviously kickstarted last year, shipped to, to Kickstarter backers at the back end of last year in time for Under the Tree, as promised. Yeah. Uh, and then again this year, out to retail as well. So if you didn't manage to pick it up, we've got a few videos on the channel. Go head over, go and check them out. Yeah. Tells you how fast it is to set it up. It's oh bit... yeah, there's a challenge, isn't there? You've yeah. got maybe another week or two. <laughs> get it out. If you can beat it, you can get it, you'll can you end up with the game for free. So, uh, so yeah, go and check those out. See how quick it is to the table. So that was Kings... Uh, sorry, that was Dungeon Saga... Ugh, I'll get that word out. That was Dungeon Saga Origins in the Kings of War universe I was about to say. So we might as well move on to Kings of War. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, already. And, it's, you know, it's just a constant beast yeah you know kings of war the tournament seems super strong the armies are building we set up another record-breaking year of tournament play yeah you know for sure we're going to have more people playing this year i know clash of kings uk is up another 30 percent on 100 percent last year so yeah. uh bonkers numbers of the us scene i've seen great events going on over there so uh trident realms have come out who doesn't want frogs on frogs riding frogs firing frogs shooting at frogs with yeah. frogs on crossbows exactly, on the back yeah. of frogs. and where else can you get them correct <laughs> correct who doesn't need that in their life so trident realms came out very popular good fun army quite light i think it's one of the most thematic yeah and i think those that take time on the basing you can take that army to places that there's very few other armies can go that's it yeah. i remember um you know, all the lads that used to work here, I've got his name now, Jesus, the only year, seven years. Um, <laughs> uh, and he did the, and the thing I wanted to do, and I'm not talented, but he'd, he'd done that one inch of clear resin across oh, yeah. the bases, yeah. across all the feet. It looks nice. so cool. And um, um, Sonny, sorry, mate. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. So, uh, but yeah, it looked really good. And I think it's, it, you can really go to places with that yeah. tournament there. So, try and rounds there. Abyss coming later in the year. Yeah. So, they're coming back for another little swing. They're a popular armor, actually. I was just looking at the stats yeah. earlier today. And Abyss is, is up there, and they're really going to get that polish to take them to a yeah. tier one army. Nice. So, looking yeah. forward to that. But obviously, we'll be uh, we'll be talking all about that nearer the time. Um, 
I guess we have we have to talk a little bit about that small Halo game, you know, that little thing that we just kind of, you know, we told people about. Being super popular. Um and yet this week we announced that basically we're sold out of our allocation. Yep. We we I mean it we knew it was like, but yeah. wow. And I think the joy of being able to showcase what a beautiful game Dead Zone is, yeah. but in its own skin, and it feels very different. It's very fast to respawn the play. Well, it clearly it's a nerve because we printed more than we've ever printed and we've sold out. Yeah. Um, so now we're kind of saying to people, if you want to get a copy, get to your local store, get to your online retailer, yeah. get to your FLGS and snag a copy because this yeah. is going to be popular. Um, we've got OP lined up. We've got further re- releases lined up. But I think before that, I'm always talking about we're in stage two. Stage one was kind of tell everyone about it. Yeah. Get it out there. Get the noise gone. Stage two is kind of a bit more just... Tell us a bit more, Ron. Yeah. You know, tell us what, why, how does it work? To convince me that the gameplay is as good as you say, say it is. And so uh, I go back with uh, the young Mr. Bo Penstoff from the Army Painter a long way. We used to work together at Games Workshop. And he was giving me some mouth, you know, the other week. And I said, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to show you what gaming is, sunshine. So uh, me, you and Kyle. Yes. The king, king of the God of War. That's it. <laughs> are going over to Aarhus. Yeah. In June. Yes. And we are going to spank their pretty little butts. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go over on a Tuesday. Tuesday night, we're going to paint, set it up, kind of do an unboxing on one of the sets, show how it yeah. is. Uh, and then the following day, we're going to have a round robin knockout tournament where we'll probably show them briefly on the Tuesday night. And on Wednesday, Bo gets his butt handed to him on a silver platter when we spank these boys yes. down into a. So, yeah, really excited about that. And I think this is just a great way. For people to look at an experienced player versus a not experienced player, but just to really understand the game. You know, when we've yeah. been doing these demos at Salute Adepticon, people have been going, oh, wow, yeah, there's been a lot of fun. The A train gets going. We want to share some of that. Yeah. And the idea being is that. We've kind of we we've showed you what you can, what you need to know to be able to kind of you know is it something for me or not? This is the next stage now, as Ronnie says, where we kind of we want you to come on the journey with us. We're getting ready for launch. We're going to give you all the information that you kind of they, those bits that you've you know you've decided I've already want this. What's all the little fun things that's going to keep me interested? So yeah, like you see, yeah. or, or yeah. I need some more com- some some more information. Is that's this a it. game that I want to play? Yeah. You know, unequivocally, it's a skirmish game. It's easy to get to the table. You know. Counterpoint, I think we've said, you know, if you want the hardest of hardcore, Epic Warpath is out there, and that's kind of the scale. That's where we live from four figures to 4,000 figures. We do the lot. But, yeah, this is going to give you an insight, and then Andy's going to do some more videos just on really unboxing how it plays and and, and some of those rules. But I think think what people want to go is just show me me some people playing. Yeah. And then let me see if that's something I want to go with. So, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel at Mantic Games um, because that's where we'll be posting all of our... Our army painter throwdown content. Yeah, it's so yeah, be, watch out for fun. that. And you might have seen a little teaser trailer recently for our summer of sci-fi, which our we were excited about. We we, we let me just come out of a meeting talking about all the exciting things that we're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, summer of sci-fi. Everyone, what do you want to what do you well, want to tell the kind? Well, I think where we want to start is if you missed it, go and have a look at the um, the corporate website from the uh, what's it called? Maison Labs. Yes, it's. Uh, it's a real good fun. We've got a brilliant guy at it who just is a lunatic and builds websites <laughs> for fun. And we've actually built the Maison Labs staff sign-in, uh, you know, uh, SharePoint yeah. option. And there's loads of jokes in there. There's hints, there's teasers, there is puzzles. And if you do it, you're rewarded with reveals and some very cool yeah. things. So if you've not done it, um, the website might be on here or it'd be somewhere below. Or There'll be a link, yeah. Get, you know, check out your last newsletter. But please, please go and have a look at it. It's great fun. It's a little bit insight into who and what the ways on labs are and what they're coming up against. Um, and that's kind of the tease for what is going to be our biggest ever sci-fi summer. You know, yeah. we're doing plastic for the first time outside of... Uh, Kickstarter for yep. our sci-fi range. We've never done that before. So we've got that. We've got this beautiful range of terrain. We've got um, uh, a whole new army, which yep. are the... Uh, well, we can't talk about them because if you know about them... That's it. So we can't appear. tell you, but if you watch the videos, you'll you'll know about them, which is already too late now. But never mind. You Once you know, it's too late. So yeah, look, the um, Night Stalkers are coming in there. They look fantastic. Yeah. Great paint jobs. There was a, a tease video last week. Here's a whole new faction. Play very different to to everything else that's out there. 
We then go back to the Asterians later on. I'm not yeah. sure if I'm supposed to say that. But anyway, the Asterians, yeah. a matte sedan, hard plastic, gorgeous. You might get some redactions there. So if it doesn't make sense, there we are. <laughs> um, you know, and then, it, and then it goes from there. We've got the vaults. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you know about the vaults, but it's where you can download STLs. We started with Armada. We've added things on for Kings of War. This summer now, as part of the whole sci-fi summer, we have got Dead Zone factions going in there. New, unique Dead Zone factions where you can download it. The rules are on there. The rules committee have made it. Fight it as a faction. Yeah. So, and that kind of appeals to two groups of people. One, committed Dead Zone fans that want a new faction. Yep. Download, print play yeah, that's it. or you know what's nice is when you let's go to a tournament they'll play against them all tournament legal but also people have been thinking about it one of the things we found from Armada yeah was that lots of people had been meaning to play it but <laughs> never quite got around to it who would ever do that yeah <laughs> uh, not more games than you know to do it so but as soon as it was that, that printing stuff you know what click 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 and they're coming out to be going me and my son are having just great time playing Armada the beautiful to paint so We've done the same thing. Well, actually, we talk about Dead Zone Summer. We've got Firefight. We've got Dead Zone. There's something for everybody. Well, what about if we go and get some of those STL boys and girls to um, to, to, to give it a try, yeah. give it a run out? And, and Yeah. So with that, I think we've unlocked on the companion all the Dead Zone content, like the keywords and everything yeah. else, is going to be unlocked for everybody. So yeah. If you've, uh, if you've not got a subscription, go just sign up. And you'll be able to have a game. So you could buy a pack of minis, yeah. play with the rules, see what the keywords mean, and, and, and give give Dead Zone a try. The, yeah. we've got... I was going to go on and say, so right through all of our summer, summer of sci-fi, that's going to be free for people to access <coughs> the Dead Zone um, rules there. Get in, give it a try, see what it's all about. And then basically, yeah, you're ready to go, yeah. Print, print off yourself a team. The team is ready to go. There's no list building. Just print yourself a team off. You're straight into the game. Yeah, print yeah, print the team, print the arm. And then yeah. if you want to look at Firefight, we've actually done a free rule book, yeah. which you can either get a physical copy, come and see us. I think we're running a free rule book and sprue, just pay the postage campaign. Yeah. So if you get a carriage free, free order, you can add one of those. Just look at the new plastics. Look at the existing sci-fi range. It's gorgeous. It's a kind of potluck. We'll stick in there. Yeah. We did them at Adepticon and, uh, and um, Salute, Salute with yeah. Kings of War. We're doing the same. People have said, you know, your plastics aren't great in the past or your minis aren't great. Well, have a look. Everyone knows our games are fantastic. What about the minis? Well, I think we might have a picture right now of before and after on <laughs> the uh, Hysterians. Yeah. But basically... We're very, very pleased with where the, our plastics are at the moment and our miniatures are at the yeah. moment and we want to share them. So yeah. if you want to see our current minis, just pay the postage. If you do a carriage paid order, add one for free and you'll get a rule book and you'll get a sprue of sci-fi minis. You can have some play with that. Excellent. Um, or you can download them. Just download them off the off the companion. There'll yeah. be that back there. There's the global campaign coming at the end of summer. So yeah. whenever you play Firefight or Dead Zone, That's there'll it. be a game. And as we've said, you can have an effect on our universe. So uh, we've got some little puzzles beforehand, which means you can have unlocked the prize by then. If not, the campaign is the last chance to do it. But if you, if we as a group tick the boxes and do the things, you will get to pick the next hard plastic sprue that we do for uh, Dead Zone. Yeah. So obviously we're, we're, we're always developing the game. There's always going to be new stuff coming, but normally we choose what comes next. If you can manage to tick the little boxes, and there'll be more details about this coming soon, if you tick the boxes, you get to choose what comes next. So, yeah, yeah. exciting. Just about recruitment, it would be things like, you know, liking your video, watching your video, yeah. downloading the rules, getting people to just come and have a look at Mantic 3.0. Come and have a look at us, see what you think. We think you're going to be impressed. Uh, we've seen a lot of people joining us. Kings of War's community is growing like, like a weed. The sci-fi has really started to take off as well. Um, you know, with yeah. Walking Dead coming back, uh, the pledge manager up for Warpath. You know, there's a lot going on, and I think it's a yeah. really positive time to uh, to come and have a look at us. And I think the uh, you know, Firefight, the game, just deserves to be played more. It's a beautiful game. And essentially, right, right now, if you've not tried our sci-fi, it's free all summer. Give it a try. That's the place to be. So, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you're looking forward to in terms of sci-fi over the summer. And keep watching. We'll have loads more sci-fi content coming. So if you feel like your dead zone or your firefight hasn't been getting much love recently, <coughs> certainly will be now. So, see you soon. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. Bye-bye.